Good morning, New Jerusalem. Good morning, New Jerusalem. We're getting ready to start our devotional period, and we would like for everyone to join in with us, and let's have a glorious time in the Lord today. While I'm on this Christian journey, won't you guide me? Oh. Holy will. 
Lord, there's other who are on our sick list. Touch their bodies and heal them with our precious and holy will. Lord, we're praying for the music ministry on today. Bless them and let them sing Zion song and praise our name. We're going to pass around on today. Touch me, give them a word on how to burn all our hearts. Someone might come down and ask them a question. What must I do to be saved? Yes, Let's hear the call once we hear the word. He yes. told us, let it be doers of your word. Yes. Also, in the name of Jesus, we pray. And Lord, we continue to pray for those who lost their lives this past week. Lord, we pray strengthen the families all over this land. Yes. And Lord, there's a war in Ukraine. Lord, there's a war in these United States. Yes. Lord, we pray that you touch all Lord, our hearts and minds. Lord, we ask you to remove the hatred and hate out of all of us, Father. Put that love in a heart, that love yes. in from a heart to heart and rest in rest. Forgive us of our sin, we pray. Amen and thank God. Amen. 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 Jesus, get us ready for that.
So in spite of all of that, we can still find the resolve to put our hands together and to give God some praise to God. We are here today to celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I want you to know that I'm actually thrilled today at the prospect of what God is going to do. Because I never come to church unexpectedly. I always come expecting because I know that if I come expecting, I can plan to receive a blessing from God. And so as we come today, we're ready, we're paused. I want to thank our devotional leaders today for teaming up on this fifth Sunday to show our unity and our strength and our diversity. Uh, we, want to, we want to thank them now. We're going to turn it over to this wonderful, great choir today. I, I had an exciting time. On Wednesday night, I had an opportunity to uh, rehearse with this dynamic group. And I want you to know, after rehearsing with them, uh, they are so much better now. As we saw the rehearsing with them. So we're going to see what we can do today. Come on and give it up for this great musician, these great musicians. And this wonderful, lovely, and devoted choir, as we sing songs of Zion to the Lord who is the Lord of our host. So put your hands together, let's give us a hand as we come today.
y'all hear what we were saying? We said that he's worthy to be praised. And since we know that he's worthy, come on, let's just take a moment. Come on, let's, let's practice our praise. Let's, let's, get, let's get a dry run. Since we know that he's worthy to be praised, let's just go ahead and give him a little introductory praise as we continue to pray. Oh, we can do better. Now, that sounds so little fine. That, that sounds like something that has no really merits to it, that no really, I said, let's praise him. Let's give him some introductory praise in this house today. For he is worthy. He is worthy today to be praised. As you um, receive your bulletins today, this is just in case some of you've been living on the rock, or you've been like Rip Van Winkle, you've been sleeping for seven years or whatever. Uh, this is Memorial Weekend. Mm -hmm. It's a very serious time in which my nation recognizes um, the sacrifices of those who are lying in the various military and other cemeteries who may ultimate make the ultimate sacrifice that we might have the freedom, or the freedoms, plural, that we now enjoy. And so in, as you, this was passing out, uh, take a moment, if you will, uh, to take this home with you. Uh, you'll find out that uh, the first Memorial Day was actually celebrated by black folks. So, uh, you know, the more you know, the more you feel better about yourself. Because you know, some people have always tried to give us this uh, idea that we were less than who we are. But our history reflects that we're greater than what they have given us to be. And so we, we would wish that you would be mindful of that. Uh, I want to say to all of my military comrades, uh, my fellow soldiers who have served in different and various capacities, in times that have passed, I want you to know that I salute you and that this nation salutes you. Uh, and we have a world of thanks for your contribution, whether you served in war times or whether you were prepared to go to war. We salute you and may God bless you uh, for this wonderful day. Uh, it's about, the world is about more than just cooking hot dogs. Amen. Trying to cook the brisket all night, get the fat off of it and all of that is more than that. And so we just want you to do that. Now, with our normal traditional way of doing, not only is this Memorial Day, but there, it's also uh, in the days to come, we're going to be celebrating uh, our graduates, our students that will be graduating from institutions that have already, you know, done so. So, Brother Dotson, if you'll come now. And uh, if you come on and do what you normally do on this particular day, uh, we will now have the uh, responsive reading at this time. After our responsive reading, will everyone please stand? Shall the earth yield her increase, and God, even 
our own God shall bless us all together. God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall be near him. Buffalo, 
will keep Texas. You know, I'm going to say this, and I don't mean no harm, and I'm not trying to be political. We keep telling my, my prayer. You know, I listen to these people who are advocates of guns, who are advocates, keep calling this nonsense about guns, don't kill people. No, guns don't kill people. People kill people. But when you put that kind of stuff in the hands of the wrong people, and then you want, you want, you, you set these people up to kill me, and then you want to pray for them. Don't pray for them. Stop praying for them and start doing something. See, faith without works is dead. So if we come today, I, I, I'm not going to apologize. I'm not going to apologize for what I've, anything I've said thus far. You said it's not relevant. It's relevant to the prayer because I'm praying that something, I'm, I'm praying that something will happen. Whatever it is, whatever it takes to bring us around. I'm a kind of I have guns, but I, but I don't I don't I'm not I don't need a gun that'll shoot nine hundred thousand times. And all these people who talk about well the gun well let, let him let him have gone to that with a knife. Let's see how long he had lasted with a knife trying to kill nineteen people. All oh, by the time he got to that first one, they had him. So as we come to pray today, I want you to know that God is aware. And then I, I hate to say this, but I'm gonna have to say it. There's a sin aspect of this as well. This is the part, this is the part that would make me pop, unpopular. There's a sin component to this. The Bible said, if my people. The sin component. See, we have drifted so away from God that sometimes God has to suffer some things. And as tragic as it is, God, through his permissive will, we, he allows, he, he's not the orchestrator. He, he, but he, he suffers these things to happen so that we might come to realize that we need him. Because everybody starts running. When trouble comes, everybody starts running to God. We all take off. Hello, somebody. No matter what direction we're in, we take off running towards God. Why don't we just run to him all the time that way? So as we come today, my first and foremost prayer is for the people in New York. My second and foremost prayer is for the people in New York. My third and foremost prayer is for the people in California. And to all of the victims and their families, you're still trying to figure out why. If you'll come now, To all of our members of the sick, to all of our members who have heart, heart surgeries, who are in need of heart surgeries, all of our members who have suffered from strokes and stroke related things, for Sheila Johnson who said word to me today that she fell down some stairs, and, but she's all right, she just kind of bruised up. This thing says, blessed is the nation, God is the Lord. We have a lot of beautiful slogans. And I wonder, is really this nation really God is their Lord? Because I wonder sometimes when we treat each other in this nation, if God really is our God. Because if God is our God, we wouldn't have all this nonsense and foolishness this morning. So as we come today, we offer prayers for all of those who are in need of prayer today. Is there anybody here that want to give us, just want to shout out a, a name or two? Go ahead and do so. Go ahead and do it all together. He's, it not matter that I hear it, it matters that he hears Say it, say it. Say it, say it, say it. I know it sounds like all I can say it. He hears it. Shout it out, shout it out, shout it out. God hears him, God hears He's able to distinguish, he's able to discern, he's able to categorize and prioritize all of our. It sounds like a lot of gobble to us, but when it gets to God, he's able to separate and differentiate. So as we come today, let us go. Oh God, is with a sorrowful heart. My heart is broken today. 
Now that I'm not grateful because I want to express my gratitude for being here today. I want to thank you for allowing us to persevere throughout the week with all of his challenges. Because this week has been challenging aside from all of the other things that are going on to just some of the personal things that have been transpiring in our lives too have been challenging. And so when you couple that with all of this other stuff that's going on, it has been a tremendous week and a tremendous challenge just to wake up and face a new day. But we're here to say thank you, God, because you made it possible. You, you brought us from the beginning, which was Monday. To, you brought us all the way to the ending, which is Sunday. And for that, we offer a word of thanks. But now, God, our hearts are broken because our community has been, our community at large has been affected. You know, the Bible, you, you said in your word that, that the person, not only the person that lives next door to us is our neighbor, but any of our brothers and sisters, anybody is our neighbor, and everybody is our neighbor. And so, God, we, we come because our neighborhood has been upset this week. Our, our neighborhood has been infected this week. Our neighborhood has been pounced on this week. But down the road, down, down, down the road, a little good distance from here, a whole community has been adversely affected. Mothers and fathers and grandmothers and grandfathers and great-grandfathers and great-grand have been affected. Two, three and four years old kids that are in elementary school lost their lives. People are mourning all over the nation as a result of that. One, one gunman has impacted the entire United States and the world. So God, what can I do? I offer, I don't have any names. I don't, I don't, I don't offer any names. I, I don't have any particular group, but I know educators, an educator and children and officers were all killed. A grandmother was killed at the beginning of it all. So I pray out, God, that you would send a calmness, that you would speak to those people in Uvalde, Buffalo, California. I pray for the safety of our children. I take care of children, our elementary children, our high school children, our collegiate children. I, I pray in the name of Jesus. Now, Lord, what I'm really asking you to do, would you change our hearts? Can I respectfully request you, would you change our hearts? Would you, would you give us a different mindset? Would you reset our priorities, reorganize our categories, that you would help us to understand what's really important in our life, and that is to have love, joy, and peace? Do it right now, Lord. Bless those who are sick today. Bless, bless those who have bowed down in their bodies today with aches and pain. Bless those who have had surgery. Bless those who are awaiting surgery. Bless those who have heart trouble and, and high blood pressure problems and people that are dealing with A1Cs and high blood, high blood sugar and just those who are dealing with arthritis and pain and rheumatism and the, those who are, are dealing with neuropathy and just, just those who, uh, whose limbs have been cut, just, just, uh, just a variety of people that are dealing with, with social and economic issues, people that have been disenfranchised by weather-related storm, just, just all of us who have been adversely affected in whatever unique way that we've been affected, affected. I pray God that you would help us now. We're struggling right now. We're, we're trying to find a purpose. We're trying to find a cause. We, we want to know why. We want to know when. And we also want to know where. So we ask, oh God, that you would, that you would give your attention to the when, why, and the where's of these situations because we need you because it looks like we're falling apart as a nation because there's no love that, that abides. There, there's no peace that has that, made resident. There, there is no love. There's no joy because this world is disturbed. People in this world are disturbed to the point that they feel like they got to take out their just causes against one another. So, But I, 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 I believe in you because you said if the people would call by you said if you and your people you said your people would call you by your name. Well, I'm going to 
do that right now, Jehovah. I'm calling. You said, you said, if your people would turn from their wicked ways, Lord, we, we promise you that we're going to turn from our wicked ways. Then you said, if we would do all those things, you said, then when we hear from heaven. I got my ear out now. I'm listening. You said that you would heal the land. And I'll take you at your word. Yes. Help us now, Lord. Help us, Jesus. As we go throughout this memorial weekend to commemorate, to memorialize yeah, yeah. all those people who have lost their lives yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. in the heat of battle for this nation. Yeah. And while I may have issues with, while I may, I may I, I be honest with my prayer, while I may have issues with some policemen, I don't have issue with all police. Yeah. There have, been, there have been police officers in the line of duty that have, that, have, that have put their lives on the line that they might save the citizenry that they yet serve. So we pray for all of them, not only for military guys, but law enforcement men that have lost their lives in the line of duty. We pray right now, God, that this, that, that this Memorial Day will commemorate, that from this Memorial Day, we will get enough out of this, that next Memorial Day, we'll be in a better status, in a better sphere, and in a better social situation than what we're in. Now, Lord, I, so that I don't depress the people, I pray now that you would uh, give me a word today. An uplifting word, a, 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 an encouraging word, a word of joy, a word of peace, a word of comforting, that we may look to the heels so we're coming out here, pick our hands up, straighten up our walk, and not walk as if we're walking in sorrow, but that we are led by the Holy Spirit, and so knowing that all these things, that bad and good, good and bad, indifference and all of these things, they all work together. For the good of them that are called according to you. We claim it now. We thank you for Jesus. He died. By the way, by the way, we thank you for Jesus. He died a devastating death on his own. Who was bruised, who was beaten, who was spit on, who was demoralized. But yet, he never uttered a word. Until the end when he said, Father, forgive them all. For they know not the ignorance of what they do. He died, got up with all power. Give us power to look beyond, to look forward in the name of Jesus. Give clarity to your word. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people of God said amen. Amen. And all the people of God said amen. Amen. Come on, say amen one more time. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, times may be hard now. It's going to be all right. forward in this time for us to prepare ourselves for giving time to get ready to give to
and Dr. Ernestine Foreman, Congress Dean. OETBA, Congress of Christian Education, revitalizing the contemporary May 31st through June 2nd from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. at St. Louis Baptist Church. Open to the public, Dr. James Johnson, instructor. Free concert, June 2nd at 7 p.m. Original East Texas Baptist Association presents Vincent Bohannon and SOV Live, excuse me, any day now. It will take place at the College Hill Baptist Church. Sister Margie Sanders is asking all ushers to please come out this Saturday for a meeting and practice. If there is anyone who would like to join the usher ministry, please come out as well. Amen. Amen. On next Sunday morning, we will be celebrating annual usher day during the morning services. Amen. Pastor Sheldon Gowan will be our guest speaker. Amen. The New Days Community Church will host the pre-installation services for Reverend and Miss Fred Berry Sr. on next Saturday or next Sunday during the morning services. Pastor James Larry, Pastor Emeritus of Fuller Chapel CME Church of Dallas will be the speaker. On Sunday, June 12th at 3 p.m., Pastor Leonard Leach and the Mount Hebron Church family of Garland will be the special guest as they officially install Pastor and Miss Berry as our senior pastor and wife of New Days. We will be celebrating all graduates, kindergarten, elementary, junior high, and college on Sunday, June 5th, during morning services. Please get your name, photo, and info to Sister Choice as soon as possible for additional information in order to be recognized. <coughs> Congratulations to all graduates. Yeah. Happy birthday, <laughs> Brother Devlin, June 1st. Yeah. If there is anyone else who will celebrate a birthday or anniversary this week, please stand at this time in order to be recognized. Thought for the week, a murderer will kill you, a thief will steal from you, but you never know where you stand with a liar. Yeah. This was submitted by Sister Commissioner Carter. If you have a thought you would like to be read, please call or give it to me by Wednesday night Bible study. <coughs> this includes our announcements. Would our visitors please stand? <coughs> Would you like to have a word? No, Mr. Stank would be here. <coughs> I'm glad to I'm glad you came to join with us in our worship today in our worship time today. I hope that you have felt God's love in a new refreshing way. For you're so welcome in this place, and I hope you come again to join with us in fellowship and make some special friends. Amen. Amen. Uh, we also have an announcement from Sister Bernadette Hampton. Amen. 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 Pastor Brown, to the church family, Amen. I'm here on behalf of Sister Batilla to make an announcement. We're going on vacation Bible school from June 22nd through June 24th. Now we know that vacation Bible school is considered for children and our youth, but we're inviting all ages. Everyone's invited. I will have the registration forms in the back for you all to fill out so we'll know an adequate amount, uh, I guess the uh, amount of children that will be attending as well as the adults. Our theme is concrete and cranes Building on the love of Jesus, found in Philippians 1 and 6, where it says, And I am sure of this, that he who began the good work in you, that is you, me, us, will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. So we're asking each of you, those of you who will, please come and support us and be a part of this, again, June 22nd through the 24th from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., we're needing at least two teachers for our three to five year olds and at least five people to assist coach with the activities outside. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor. Pastor, that was a mistake on my part. Uh, the annual usher day is the second Sunday. I'm thinking today was first Sunday. But it's second Sunday in June. 
Amen. 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 <laughs> Let us govern ourselves according to the announcements. Thank you, Sister Phelps, uh, for volunteering uh, to step up. And uh, there's enough room in this end for everybody. Did you hear what I said? There's enough room. Now, when Jesus was looking for an end, there was no room for him. But in this end, there's room for everybody. And uh, we, you know, I, I kind of like the, the approach that Brother Blevins take up when he was talking about doing the devotion of man and woman. You know, I, I love for people, uh, I can point out people I want to do this, but it's better when people decide that they want to do things. Because here's the difference. When I ask you to do it, you just do it because I ask you to do it. But when you do it, it's because you want to do it. And when you do it, you give it all you have. And so I thank you for that. We ask that we would govern ourselves to according to those announcements. So. Uh, if you feel like, well, I, I don't fit in, I'm not a part of the family, we want you to fit in. We want you to have a role in this because when you are invested, one thing I find out when people are invested in something, they'll give it all they have. All right. the, uh, as you forestated, uh, Reverend, my, my very good friend, and he's like a son to me, uh, Pastor Ms. Gowan is coming to do our Earth Annual, and he's going to do it in the morning for us. He's going to come all the way from Marshall, Texas. Amen. And he's going to come. And I know he's going to do a wonderful uh, and outstanding job because he's a, he's a very educated, uh, he's, at, he, he's one of these old, he's kind of like he's been here before. Amen. He's one of these kind of kids. Amen. He's one of these child prodigy kind of kids. You ever heard of a child prodigy? Yeah. Uh, he's older than, he's kind of like Jesus. He's older than, his, than he looks and acts. And so I'm excited about the fact that he was chosen to come, and I'm excited that he's coming, and I'm looking forward to anticipation that he's coming, and, and uh, we know he's going to do a fantastic job, and I know his mother here, she's probably chomping at the bench. Grandmother, mama, you, you might, I, know, I know what I said, I know you as grandmother, but you also raised him. And so I'm going to give you some credit, amen, I'm going to give you some credit. I'm not trying to take credit from nobody else, but I want to give you credit. Because when you're trying to raise children, that's an awful sacrifice. Yes. And so we thank you for that. Uh, also, I'm going to be meeting with the deacons and trustees on Tuesday at 6 o'clock. And I'll go ahead and tell you that from what my purpose for meeting them is that we're going to come up with a strategy. A strategy for what? To protect us. Amen. So that we can focus on service and not focus on whether somebody's going to come at us while we have a service. Amen. And uh, we're going to do whatever it takes necessary uh, to get us safe. And we, we now, I don't like to always bring up what I've done in the past, but what I did when I was in Grape, we went to several, we had several of our camp, uh, people to go with us, and we went to all kinds of seminars to find out what to act, how do we act when shooters come in and build. I hate to even talk about this, but it is the living reality of what we have. Shouldn't even have to stand in the pulpit of the most holiest place. And talk about a word about a shoot. But I have to because I would be remiss if I did. So we're going to be meeting to see what is necessary to do that. And uh, we'll be getting back with you. And it's going to require us to make some changes. And I already know that. And so when we make the changes, this is knowing that we're not trying to disenfranchise you and throw our weight around and none of that kind of stuff. We want to keep you alive. And we want to have a plan. So if something goes off, we'll know what to do. Amen. That sounds like that makes sense. Amen. Okay. Okay. I thought it would because you're all intelligent people. And so we want to approach this from an intelligent perspective. Uh, not only that, um, the Congress will be in, engaged next week. And uh, somehow they hip hauled me into, you know, I'm, I'm new to the, I've been going to the Congress, but I'm new as a pastor, Tyler. And uh, I couldn't, I, I really, well, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I've been put on tap uh, on the 31st, I think that's Tuesday at 11 o'clock. I will be one of the keynote speakers uh, on evangelism uh, in this year in Congress. And that will transpire at 11 o'clock Tuesday morning. So um, this is not for you to come. You can come if you want. I'm not, um, you know, whatever you feel like doing because that's a working day for some folks. And so, but I just want you to know that that uh, your pastor will be at the college here at 11 o'clock a.m. 
I will be giving a keynote address on evangelism uh, and trying to make an effect on the world. So I want you to be aware of that. Uh, one of the, we do have some candidates this morning that we will be baptizing in the uh, service today. Uh, we would love for you to stay in and be with us in that part of our service. Uh, if you cannot be with us, pray for us that we might have a safe situation. Uh, also, I want to say thank you uh, to all of you that gave me call, cards and calls. Uh, listen, listen. Uh, I try not to uh, be a beggar. I, I try not to be a person that every time I look up, I got my hands out. Uh, but I want you all to know, for everything that you do for me, everything that you do for my wife, or anything that's going to affect my family, I want you to know I appreciate it. I do. I, I, I appreciate it. Uh, the Lord has blessed me tremendously. But he's also blessed me to be a tremendous blessing to you. Because every time he gives me something that can help you, I'm going to help you. If, if I find out how to get five million dollars, I'm going to make sure that you know how to get it too. So I, I want you to know I appreciate it. I do appreciate deaconesses. All you, everybody that's been so kind to me from the day I got here to this present moment. The Bible says, you know, when you bless the man of God, yeah. when you receive the prophets in the name of the prophet, you shall receive a prophet's reward. Yeah. Yeah. It says, muzzle not the ox that treads the meal. Hello, somebody. So thank you for doing all that you do for me. Okay? My wife is not here today. She's in Houston, Texas, just in case y'all looking around for her. She's not out there. Look around. She's not out there. She, she's in Houston. I've been on, on a, a three-day hiatus. And I tell you what, I'm, I've been so lost. All right. I have to do is just walk wagon train, gravy train, raw high. And she'll be back in Tyler Monday. And so thank y'all for that. We celebrated 39 years of marriage. Uh, I couldn't, the Lord couldn't give me a better woman, a better wife, and a better friend. And so I thank you for all of your prayers. Continue to pray for me, I'll continue to pray for you. Amen? Amen. And let's continue to love one Let's get better at our love for one another. Let's be here for Sunday school. Let's come to midweek service. Let's get involved into the whole program. The building is, we, we really run it now, y'all. We run it. I'm going to be meeting with the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, food bank, we need to determine what kind of floor we're going to get in there, because the painter's just about ready to come in and start painting, electric will be ready next week to be put in there, and we'll be ready to dedicate this building so we can do great things, amen? We were blessed the other week, and I'm going to hush y'all, we were blessed the other week with a tremendous donation uh, from, from a group of people that want to see us benefit. See, when you start doing things, the word will get out, and when it get out, people will help you. Because people want to be a part of something that's going somewhere. Yeah. Now, nobody want to be a part of something that's stalemate and, 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 and anchor. So we want to thank those tremendous people today for, for, for providing food. And those recipients of those boxes will receive. They're going to be. They're going to really be surprised. There's going to be in those boxes. So thank you for your support as we move forward. God bless you today. God keep you. Did I forget anything? Because you know I try to. I make myself know. Did I forget anything that I? Should over, uh, overlook. If not, uh, we, we're running into some, you know, another thing, we're running into some problems. We, we're going to have, for organizational purposes, we've got some work that we got to do in the background because we, we, we're we running into some problems, but we're going to rectify it. We're going to make it right. We're going to get it on the even keel. Uh, and so, you know, because some things that needed to have been done have not been done. And now we're running up against the brick wall. But that's okay. Nobody's mad at anybody. Nobody's pointing the finger blame at nobody. We're just going to do what we need to do to make sure it gets right. All right? Talking about it ain't going to fix it. Fix it ain't going to fix it. So, so, so much for it. God bless you. Love you. If I leave here tomorrow, if I leave here tonight, you know this. You don't want to wait to see me here because I won't be talking then. I won't talk to you nothing. Love you. I love you guys. I really do. I love every one of you. When you agree with me, when you don't agree with me, I still love you. Okay? 
You might be mad, I may be mad at you, but I still love you, amen? amen. So God bless you, God keep you in your prayer. Now, we will have the offering. Amen. amen. Okay. God bless you. We got something good over here. Amen. Yeah. amen. Why do you think people are coming to be a part of us? If we don't have something good. Let's not, let me just say this, let me give, give a word. Let's not mess up what we have. Amen. Fitting and fumbling last week. Didn't pay my tithes last week. I got them today though. Okay. Let me find it. Let us, let us pray. Lord, we thank you now for this time of giving. I'm asking personally, I'm personally requesting that you bless every giver, no matter how much or how little they give. As long as it's from their heart, that's really what really matters. We understand what the scriptures say about the tent, but it doesn't do us no good to give the tent if it's out of, simply out of obligation and not by choice of wanting to be a blessing. Bless every gift that is going to be given here. We ask that you would bless every giver and in the manner in which they gain. That it may go forth for the uplifting of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. And all the people said amen. amen. All the people said amen. amen. And we said amen. amen. All right, you're now in the hands of our ushers who will direct us during the furtherance of this procedure of giving. God we give. Thank God we have. Thank God we have.
I'm going to decrease that this great choir can increase. And by the way, we'll be doing this every Sunday. Fifth Sunday. Every fifth Sunday, we will have a mass choir. Amen. And also in the future, Brother, Brother Levins will be responsible for this. On the Sundays that the milk course will be singing, we're going to create us a, a praise and worship team. And on the Sundays that the milk course sings the praise and worship team, after it has been organized and taught, they will be in charge of the devotion period. And we'll also have, on the fifth Sunday, the women and the men doing devotion together. Amen. Y'all say amen. amen. New ideas, new, new ways of doing things. Amen. Uh, change is good. Somebody said change is good. 